We're here at the Pie Charm booth at PyCon US, best show on earth. UV, hotter than the surface of the sun. Hotter than the surface of the sun, right? <laughs> hotter than the surface of the sun. Everybody's talking about it. I have Hennick, self-appointed storyteller for UV. I have Zany from Astral, who actually knows everything about UV. Let's start, Hennick, the only videos of yours Yes. They get any views. Yes. What are they? Well, why don't you just put the salt into my... <laughs> what, into my into you got to get a tattoo yeah. that says UV on you. Yeah. People seem to love your UV, UV videos. Yes. What is the story you're telling about UV? Well, the story overall is that Python packaging is good now. <laughs> um, as you, I've been all around for a very long time. Thank you for that. Yes. Uh, and I've seen the pain. I've seen the pain over the years. I've seen the... No, not that one. The, the scars, yeah, the, sure. the bleeding, and uh, I still get comments on my videos where people just who haven't used Python ten years tell me that they won't ever use Python again because of Python packaging. Sure, sure. And as someone who can contextualize what Astral is doing to the Python community, not to the community, for the community. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, days it feels that way, right? I I feel it's very important to spread the good word that our biggest problem has been almost solved. Indeed. And I see you walking the halls, talking about UV with the Astral people. And I, in my mind, I see you writing the script for the next video. So are you going to have more UV videos? That is exactly what's happening. Um, right. So I've started a trilogy about UV. Um, the first video is two months ago. I've been called several times the George R. R. Martin of YouTube. <laughs> and it's not for my rich storytelling and deep characters. Hinnick, so, yeah. Hinnick coming to a theater near you. Right before PyCon last year, we splashed on the scene with our UV pip interface. Yes. Uh, and we followed that up about six months later in August with like 30 more commands. Uh, UV for projects, UV for scripts, UV for tools, uh, UV for installing your Python versions. Uh, so UV has taken a big step forward since then. Uh, and from August to now, we've really been focusing on polishing all those interfaces. Uh, we added so much to UV uh, and users are really excited about that, but we've seen a lot of small rough edges that we're trying to smooth out. Uh, UV adds a lot above other packaging tools, but we want to keep moving that forward. Um, we want all these new features to be really easy to use. Uh, we want uh, to add more things on top of that, but we're trying to hold back on some of those new things and roll them out kind of slowly once we've fixed a lot of the pain points that we see in Python packaging. Thank you, Zany, for saving us from ourselves in the world of Python. We've needed you for like 20 years, and you are the hero we need showing up at the right moment. Hennick, thank you for telling all of these stories via your videos. Click and subscribe on Hennick. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm clicking right now, as you can see. PyCharm has been doing a lot of great things with UV. Thank you for the help on the support on that. Give us a try. Give Zany a try. Give Hennick a try. Give PyCon a try.